Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. All right, guys. Well, happy Monday. Happy. I can't believe we're already halfway through January, halfway through the first month of 2024. Anyways, guys, we're back to talk about Andy Cohen because he is throwing shade at some of the Salt Lake City former housewives. There's only one. And then also, well, I guess there's more than one, but there's one that matters. And then also he is um, giving a lot of praise here, especially because the Salt Lake City women brought it. Then we have some Robin and Juan Dixon and also some Eminem of it all. We're going to break in. Before we do, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and um, let's jump right in. Okay, so this is where I wanted to start first because Andy Cohen is praising the Salt Lake City cast for keeping their finale, which was definitely a bombshell finale, a secret and everything that happened at the reunion. So before we get into it, thank you to all about The Real Housewives. Andy Cohen spilled the tea on the Salt Lake City Season 4 reunion and also admitted that he's impressed with the cast for not leaking the finale drama. So the Salt Lake City Season 4 finale episode was one of the best episodes of Real Housewives to ever air on Bravo, and the Salt Lake City Season 4 reunion is gearing up to be an amazing showdown between the Salt Lake City Housewives. Part one of the reunion aired last Tuesday and lived up to the hype so much so that the fans are, well, dying to see parts two and three. Now, dur during a recent interview with OK Magazine, Andy Cohen reflected on the Salt Lake City season four finale, saying, it was brilliantly produced. I was in awe of how dramatic it was. I am so happy that the women were able to keep it quiet. Andy also revealed that he instructed the Salt Lake City cast while filming the season four reunion not to spoil or leak the finale episode as the network wanted the drama to be a surprise to fans. He said, I'm so grateful for the intense level of interest that the fans have in this franchise, but with the passion for what's happening or what's going to happen, sometimes entire storylines or plot points are leaked. It's never in service of the show, but I remember before we started shooting the reunion, I said to the women, listen, you are sitting on an incredible finale. Don't spoil it by leaking this. Let the viewer see it and hear about it for the first time. He also continued with, I'm so impressed with these women because production never leaks anything. It usually comes from the women or their glam. And it was a really great lesson on how we can all have a collective experience watching this and processing it at the same time. And I thought that that was great. Now, meanwhile, during Wednesday's episode of Sirius XM's Andy Cohen Live, Andy spilled the tea on the Salt Lake City season four reunion. Andy and his Andy Cohen Live co-host, John Hill, discussed the Salt Lake City season four reunion on Wednesday. And they had quite a bit to say about all of the drama and what's to come. What was your overriding feeling? I was glad that people responded to it so well because, look, part three is supersized. And we go very deep into reality bonties. You guys saw this, right? I talked a little bit about this. We go so deep into reality bonties. He talked about a little bit about that. And he was sharing how on this new season, or on this season that's currently airing, that they wanted to get into the re reality bonties at first a little bit, but... They decided not to get into it because if they would have gotten into it, then that would have made a problem or it would have been hard for them to circle back and try to explain why they got into it as quick as they got into it. You see what I mean? So this is exactly why they just did not get into it. That's all. Now back to it. Let me get into it. <laughs> I know that there, you know, I know that there was going to be a response. It's like there's so much to get through and we'll get to reality von tease, but it's almost like, and I know that's the way in every reunion, but it's a little awkward for me to sit there. There's a huge elephant in the room, which puts a shadow and a cast over every single issue in this. So I don't like having to. It's like, why would I listen to anything that comes out of this girl's mouth when she's a liar and a troll? So it's it's like weird, is what his co-host said. And he said, well, conversely, if we had started with the reality of Antis, then where do you go from there? John responded with, I don't know. It might have been like, maybe you do a first hour special and let's get through that. He said, we did. I, we did. I was talking to the producers and I was saying, 
I think we need to lead with part of this. The problem is because we're coming off of this crazy reunion or this crazy finale, but once you start with something, it is very hard then to pick a moment and say, we're going to finish this later. Now, in reality, we ended the day and it was a very long day. I believe we shot until 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night and we ended the day. The last few hours was Reality Montes and The Black Eye. That's what he continued before asking, what did you think of Monica's performance last night? John made it clear that he is not a fan of Monica and didn't believe anything that came out of her mouth. And Andy couldn't help but somewhat agree, noting that Monica came out swinging against her co-stars at the reunion. He said, I'm not in a place right now to give her anything other than get the fuck out. I don't want to hear from it. I don't like it. And so I'm working through that. I want to try to give people a moment. I'll give her three. I don't like it. But that's also, by the way, coming from an ex-reality show producer who feels the line between fan and cast members has rocked me. I don't love it. It doesn't make me like her that she is so hateful and seems like she has access to grime. He also continued with, I was thinking this morning, I wish she would have had a director that said, listen, here's how you need to, I wish I could have curated her performance. I would have said, first of all, back to the finale, just a little aside, if you had known that this was going to come out, if you're that much of an expert tea dropper, whatever you are, you should be prepared for when it does come out and be like, okay, I'm glad you finally figured it out. Here's how I'm going to one-up you. Instead of, oops, I got caught. And then because of her anger towards Angie, her rage towards these other people is so ugly that it doesn't endear me to have any sort of empathy or sympathy for what could have caused her motivation to do literally any of it. Be a part of six people of Reality Von Tees, help Jen Shaw write an email, then lie about what you said in it on the day going into a reunion. You want to be, okay, master off. We're just going to lay there and bear it all. Truth healing, blah, blah, blah. Not, you're a bitch. You're a, leatherly, you're a leathery old whore. It was interesting for me that she came out so hard on others when you think about the idea of like, okay, this is your reunion to kind of get them on your side again. It's the resolution of it all. I don't know if she came in wanting the resolution, but she did come in hot. And low key, I enjoyed every single member, minute of it. So I'm, um, I'm going to gracefully bow out of that one. But since we're talking about all things that are when it comes to housewives. Um, Andy Cohen also had a few other things to say. It was on Sunday's episode of Watch What Happens Live. Andy Cohen admitted that he wasn't shocked that Robin and Giselle were embroiled in a legal battle with Eminem. He said, I mean, whoever thought you'd be in a lawsuit with Eminem over the word shady? That is dumb. And Robin agreed, saying it's the most bizarre Twilight Zone experience. Andy also said, kind of like Jen Shaw tweeting from jail. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. can I say and I know he doesn't care and I'm sure she doesn't either I'm sure a lot of them don't kind of like Jen Shaw tweeting from jail well you definitely don't care what she has to say or if she comes out and she's like I'm going to attack this a little bit because I mean I feel like she's going to attack this just a little bit but um, this will be a wild one. This will be an interesting one. But speaking of the Salt Lake City finale and all of that, I am surprised and I'm happy that the women were able to keep it under wraps. I think that it was an absolutely great finale and I think that the ratings said it all. Now, with that, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So I want you to go ahead, pop off in the comment section. Let me know what you think, especially over the part one of the reunion. And don't forget that tomorrow we get part two. So this is going to be a zinger. I love you guys, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Bye.